We're introducing our new single Q firing system. This new single Q system is the first FCC legal system sold here in the United States. Uh, the difference between this and the uh, the one that looks like this, the E-MADE, is that the E-MADE is an illegal firing system using an illegal transmitter and uh, illegal to import in the United States. This system right here uses our FCC certified transmitters, either the handheld three-channel transmitter, each having 20 buttons, or for those that want to have more options, we offer this control desk, which has 11 selectable channels and uh, all the bells and whistles that you'd expect. The uh, other quick thing I'd like to point out is, unlike the illegal transmitter that only has 12 buttons, this has 20. So effectively, if you just use this transmitter right here, you can control 20 of these on one channel, use it utilizing one button per receiver, or you can control up to 60 of these transmitters using one button per transmitter. Additionally to that, you can even control multiple systems on one button, so you can increase that. You can have an, an infinite number of these receivers programmed to one system in case you wanted to have uh, large fronts go off in different locations saving scab wire. We're going to run through a couple quick little demonstrations on this unit in function. Um, we'll start off by uh, just showing you uh, the test function. Simply put, this is the one of the uh, simple talent igniters that it works well with. You just simply put the uh, ends of the copper wire into the black and red terminal plates here. And then you flip the switch up to test. A blue light will come on if it's got good circuit. And it does, so it means it's got good continuity. So we're ready to fire. If you wanted to fire this, you'd simply go down to the uh, bottom, which is F, that's the fire code. And uh, if you push the corresponding firing button on either your transmitter or your control desk, this would fire off. We're going to run through and show you how to actually program the system. Okay, to program the system, the first thing you're going to want to do is turn the system on to fire. The red light comes on. Then you're going to push the P button here. Keep your finger on that button, and eventually this little red light will go off. At this time, it just dumped the old... Uh, codes that was originally stored into the system. Now you grab your new transmitter, either this system or the control desk. You power the transmitter on, you select the correct channel. We're going to select channel 1 on this particular one. We'll program this firing system to go off with button 1. So you hit the uh, P button, release, and then fire a, uh, the, the corresponding button on your transmitter. We'll pick 1. Okay. So right now, this firing system has learned to go off and fire when I push button 1. I'm going to turn the system off, grab the next one. We'll do this one to button 2. So you do the same thing. You turn it on, the red light comes on over the, the power indicator. You hit the P button until that red light goes off. Went off. We're going to select that to go off with button 2. Hit that and hit the number 2 button. Now this one will go off when 2 is pushed. Turn this system off. We'll go to the third system. Same thing, you powered it on, hit the P button. We're going to hit uh, this one to button 3 or Q3. And now this has learned to go off with button 3. So if in, you were in the field, you'd simply power these uh, little receivers on, place your, your uh, clip style igniters or your E matches into the system. You'd be away about 400, 500 feet away. You extend the antenna on your system, you extend the uh, antennas on the receiver, make sure your transmitter is on, and then you just start pushing buttons. This is button 1, that's going off. Button 2, that's going off. Button 3, and this one off. So that's how you do that. I'll also show you how to use the control desk. Okay, to use the control desk, it's basically the same thing. The first thing you're going to have to do is dump all the memories on your, your, your uh, single receiver. So we're going to hit the P buttons. I'll do all three at the same time. 
till the red light over signal goes out. They all went out. Now you're ready to program it. So first thing you're going to want to do is, of course, make sure this is powered on, so the red light is on. You're going to turn on your control desk. You're going to select what channel. Just what we're going to do is we're going to select channel one for all of them, and we'll just change the cues. Currently, the LED here, the LCD, excuse me, is set to channel one. We're going to turn the key on, powering the uh, transmitter up. There's a control button or a dead man switch here. <clears throat> you're going to keep your finger on the control button, and you're going to, we're going to program it to single mode. So we're going to hit the P button, and the red light went on that, so now it's programmed to channel 1, excuse, channel 1, Q1. We're going to keep it in channel 1. We're going to channel up to uh, Q2. We're going to do this one to Q2. I'll turn this off, see it power. Hit the P button. Now this is learned to go off with the button um, Q2. Turn it off to save power. We're going to do this one to Q3. So you're going to up the uh, Q to Q3. And hit the P button. And now it's learned to go off with uh, the control desk as well. So if you wanted to test that, we'll go back down to 1. This one will go off. Of course, if it's turned on, it helps. Okay. I'm going to go up to Q2 and then up to Q3. And of course you would go all the way on until all your receivers were programmed. When you use up your bank of 20, you can go ahead and uh, change channels to 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way up to channel 11. The other thing you can do with this is program it to multiple receivers to go off with the same coupon. Okay, to do that, all we're going to do is we're going to dump the memory. Okay, it's now dumped. All we're going to do for this, say, we're going to program them all to go off when I push on channel 1, uh, Q1, I want all three to go off. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the, uh, the P button and release, and then we're going to hit button, and there you go. They're all going off. Next thing we're going to do is take this outside and do some range testing. Okay, so right now we're just out in the field. Um, again, I got the wires hooked up. We're going to just do a quick test again. Okay, so the little blue light came on. That means it's good e-match. We're going to go ahead and uh, do all of them. And I want to show you where the end of this is. Remember, these are three meter igniters. And I've got them basically. Got one, two, three. So the next step is we're going to do a quick uh, continuity check on each one of these, okay? And then when you're all done doing the continuity check, again, go to T, it's blue, that's good. You're going to flip it back down to fire, okay? Same thing with this. Up to test, it's good. Back down to red, it's hot. This one we're going to go up to T, the blue light comes on, and then back down to red. We're good to go. I'm going to go to my shooting position. We'll fire these off. Let's look if we can't see smoke when I fire this thing off. I'm going to fire the first cue. We should have two igniters go off. In three, two, one, firing. Okay. A little bit of a delay on that. We're going to fire the second one. In three, two, one, firing. Okay. So they both fired off. A uh, point to remember is always make sure you've got some nice fresh batteries in both the receiver and the transmitter and that way you can be sure that uh, you'll have very uh, quick ignition and uh, you won't have to hold the button on the uh, transmitter for very long. Okay. Another point that I like to bring up is keep your finger on the transmitter until you have successful ignition and you, know, you see the fuse light. Typically between uh, you know a full second holding it in, um, it kind of depends. So that's our new firing system. Thanks for watching.